Welcome back to Oak Creek Pottery. Today I am going to begin deglazing all of the mugs from my first batch. Yesterday I loaded all the mugs in the kiln for the initial firing to turn them into ceramic and now I am going to check that out. Remember it gets up to about 2000 degrees and I could still feel that this is hot. So I'm going to vent it right here. That's still 388 degrees. So I have to let that slowly vent and slowly come back down to room temperature. All right, it has been a few hours and now the kiln is kind of cool enough for me to unload it. And here's something interesting here. This was on the top shelf and then going down, these were on the bottom shelf. Now you can see a color difference between these ones and that one. So the one that was on the top shelf actually under fired. It didn't get up to the temperature it needed to. So after I glaze them, I'm gonna make sure that this row gets put on the bottom and everything kind of gets switched. And now I need to apply a wax resist on the bottom of the mug so that glaze does not go there. You'll see what I'm talking about. So what is this wax resist I speak of? It's just liquid wax that is manufactured for this exact ceramic application. So the process is really straightforward. I get a mug, I turn it upside down on the wheel, make sure it's relatively centered, get wax on my brush, start spinning the wheel, load it up. That's it. The wax resist has had time to dry, and now it is time to dip them into the glazes. Check this out. Remember these buckets of glazes? Well, what happens is when you don't use them for a while, all the glaze settles to the bottom and then there's water on top. So now I need to mix all six of these buckets. And in between mixing, I have to rinse out the mixer because you cannot cross contaminate one glaze into another glaze bucket. All right, I asked you guys on Instagram, what's your favorite of all my color options? And Storm Gray as a base was the favorite. All right, I took notes and all that stuff. Um, and this is what Storm Gray looks like as a base. And the majority of people liked Storm Gray with green tea on top. To mix them, it's really simple. I got these little tongue grabbers. You grab the mug like this, okay? And then you just simply dip it in the storm gray bucket, let it drip off. You see how it runs off? That's the, that's the wax working there. And then I just put it down on the table and that's it. Get the next one, dip it, swish it around. Let it drip off. See that wax at work? That's my favorite thing. Now the base layer of the Storm Gray is glazed, gotta let that dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna do all the rest in different colors. Okay, I just finished up dipping the first layer of every color, and now I need to let them dry for a good 24 hours, and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back and dip them into a top layer. All right, it is the next day, and the first layer of glaze has had a chance to dry out. Now, before I dip them into the top layer, I need to clean up the bottom. So the wax resist does a really good job of making it run away from most of it. However, some of it stays very streaky like that. So I just simply get a damp sponge and I wipe it away. Okay, I got all of the bottoms cleaned up. Now it is time to dip. And the favorite was storm gray over top of green tea. 
So I'll just dip it a couple inches. And I don't want a perfectly even line. Um, I want it to be a little more organic. Gonna let these dry, it's very humid, so I'm gonna let them dry overnight. I'll put them in tomorrow and we'll see, we'll see how they look when they come out of the kiln. I'm excited about that. It is a new day, the mugs are fully dry, and I'm ready to load them into the kiln. Okay, it's time to open the kiln and see how everything turned out. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Okay, things are... <laughs> um, uh, this is bad. Things are bad. Hang on. Come here. So this is not how things are supposed to look. This top row did not get up to temperature. These look not, but <laughs> this doesn't look good. I don't, um, let me take these out and look, see what's under it. Okay, so this is the second row and there's still just a bunch of problems. Um, that did not fire the way it's supposed to. Look at this. That's terrible. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I, think, I think there's actually two separate issues going on here. Well, some of them, well, no, they're all terrible. Everything's terrible. Okay, well, I am defeated. Um, did some testing on my kiln and the top element is broken. And that's a hundred dollar part and a lot of time to try and fix that. I don't know what happened, so I got to fix that. And I made another big mistake with all of these mugs. And it's kind of complicated, but I did my first firing too hot and the clay shrunk too much and became not porous. And so therefore the glaze didn't really get into the middle of the ceramic. It just kind of stayed on the surface which is what caused issues like this. So, uh, oh, all, all, of these are, all of these are ruined. Um, I can't sell any of these. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm, I feel defeated. It is at this point in any other project that I would quit. I would be like, it's going to be too hard to do this. Um, but I don't want to quit. I can't quit with this. I'm too much money into this and I enjoy a lot of it too much to just go ahead and quit. So what should I do with these mugs? Leave a comment below, leave a comment below and say what I should do with these mugs. I can't, I can't sell them. I cannot sell them. They're not, they're not, they're, they're not safe to, to use. They're not safe to drink with. The kiln is broken. <laughs> the mugs are ruined. Um, I've got to, I got to, I have a lot to do. I'm sorry. I'm rambling at this point, but I think this is the end of this video. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do.
There, I broke a mug. That made me feel better, I guess. Um, so what should I do with these mugs? I don't know, leave a comment below. And in the next video, things will get better again.